there, my good friends. Welcome to our newest video training series, where we are going to show you the newest, hottest ways to crush it with the oldest, yet most results-oriented online marketing method there is. Yes, we are talking about none other than viral marketing. And in Section 1, Viral Marketing Basics, we will be discussing the basics in order to get you up and ready for the practical stuff. The contents in this section include, what is online marketing all about? What is viral marketing? How can viral marketing help your business? Shocking viral marketing facts to consider. So, let's give this course some background and fire off this first section by answering the following question. What is online marketing all about? We are all familiar with the word marketing, and we all have a pretty good idea of what marketing is all about. Building a strong brand presence by spreading a brand-centric message. Yet, we often fail to properly identify what marketing is all about. Thinking of it as nothing but paid advertising, which is actually just one of the many ways that there are of driving a marketing message. To illustrate this point, we can all recognize a brand-sponsored billboard on a busy venue as advertising, and can rightfully categorize it as marketing. Yet, we would mostly fail to identify a brand-centric conversation between random people on the streets as marketing. This is important to understand. Because a marketer needs to identify every possible way of driving brand-centric conversations outside of traditional advertising channels. In that sense, marketing needs to feel natural. And make no doubt, it is the same on the Internet. Online marketing can be strictly conceptualized as the process of promoting a business, a brand, a product, or a service all over the Internet using the right type of marketing strategies and tools that can drive online-specific objectives, such as increasing traffic, capturing leads, and getting more sales. Yet online marketing is a very broad term that encompasses a wide range of online marketing tactics and strategies. That is, every possible activity that can help a marketer achieve a business objective online can be considered as doing online marketing. More so, the term online marketing is nowadays used interchangeably with the term content marketing which is defined as an online marketing approach focused on distributing value through content. Coincidentally, an online marketing campaign that does not deliver valuable content is simply doomed to fail from the get-go. Hence, the interchangeable nature of conceptualizations that currently describe the same process. This groundbreaking shift in priorities has changed the way online marketing is done nowadays with newer online marketing strategies taking the spotlight alongside classics such as email marketing and banner ads. Examples include search engine optimization, or the process of refining online content in a way that makes it rank higher in search engine results when potential customers use search terms that match keywords in said content. Social media marketing. Using social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest to drive organic brand-centered conversations has become a must in this socially connected modern-day Internet. Video Marketing Online video is now more popular than TV, and there are thousands of businesses making lots of money by using video-sharing platforms to promote their products. These new developments are great and all, but what if you can give them a little edge? What if you could take them to the next level? What if you can go, let's say, viral? Tune in to our next video to learn more. Hello there once again, my good friends, and welcome to Section 2 of our online viral marketing video training series, Viral Marketing Step by Step. Here we are going to discuss the characteristics of viral content, how to create it, how to make it go viral, and where to make it go viral. Contents in this section include the anatomy of viral marketing content, the best ways to deliver viral marketing content, where to find the right audience for going viral, getting started with a viral website, getting viral marketing ideas before creating content, creating a profitable viral post. So let's start by taking a look at the basic elements that make online content to actually go viral. The anatomy of viral marketing content. So, what does a piece of viral content actually look like? This is a question that deserves a detailed answer, because as you might have heard from us beforehand, viral marketing campaigns don't go viral by accident. The way they go viral can be best described as a result of a combination of content-bound elements that encourage campaign targets to forward them virally. And in this video, we are going to show you what these elements are with a few examples. 
titles that trigger a sensation of immediacy or of missing out. The secret behind making someone want to click through a piece of content based on his title text without going full-on clickbaiting is to add curiosity-inducing keywords and phrases to it. And to increase the chances of making said content to go viral is to phrase titles in a way that implies scarcity or that hints to the idea that the campaign target is missing out on something that has been kept secret to him or her or that is just becoming public knowledge right at that moment. The negative phrasing includes statements such as, you won't believe, you should stop, you should avoid, and things you didn't know, among many other combinations. Our example of choice is this post which has been titled, 30 Things You Should Stop Doing to Yourself. It has been shared over 670,000 times on Facebook alone, and that is because its title alone ignites curiosity. By telling people that there are 30 things that they should stop doing that they might have not been aware of up until that point, which suddenly forces them to immediately click and then to share because they would want to spread the satisfactory nature of the content they just checked. Numbered titles and list-based content. Have you noticed a trend among popular sites that promote other sites' content? And that these pieces of promoted content generate ad revenue by going wildly popular? Well, that is no coincidence. They are designed to go viral. And you might have noticed that the most popular viral articles have the following things in common. The titles include a numbered item. The articles inside are list articles. Starting in the early 2000s, some websites noticed that their traffic exploded once they started experimenting with list articles, which consists of long-form content divided into smaller numbered chunks to make it easier for people to read through. Websites then realized that all they needed to go viral even for short periods of time was to create list-based articles with titles that teased readers to click through. If you are a marketer, you might also recognize that the same formula works when setting up sales pages and lead magnets. Cracked.com is a great example of this. It generates over 300 million views a month by updating the site daily with list articles. And as you can see, just by hanging around the site, most article titles follow a simple formula. Numbered items, niche or trending keywords, and negative phrasing. Content that is easy to consume and skim through. Do you know why scientific abstracts and papers have never gone viral in like ever? Well, the reason why is because they're just not easy to read. And they don't offer an immediate reward. What you will usually see going viral more often, though, is content that is easy to read and, most importantly, content that you don't need to digest completely to enjoy it. In other words, content that you don't have to read in full the first time you click through it, and that in fact offers enough value in its simplicity as to be worth a second or third read. That right there is the real marker of a piece of viral content with evergreen potential. Going back to the viral post that we showed you earlier, the one titled 30 Things You Should Stop Doing to Yourself, you can see how easy it is for you to simply skim through the subtitles while being able to understand what it's all about and why the information might be worth sharing with others who will then replicate your behavior. Why is that? Because people might enjoy reading the headline, the first paragraph, and then skim through all the way to the end of the article which you can benefit from by placing your affiliate links, sales page links, or sign-up forms in the middle and at the end of your viral post. Sharing buttons. Share buttons are a must. Content that integrates share buttons is seven times more likely to spread virally. The easier it is to share the content, the better, as you can see on this website, which places share buttons on the lower bar and right above the user's taskbar. This makes it easier for anyone to share this content at any moment while reading through, and not just once the content ends, which is a missed opportunity because a lot of people won't read through the content in its entirety the first time, and they will be less likely to share it once they go back to finish consuming the content. Video Repurposing All of the previously discussed attributes can be repurposed on video format. That is, you can repurpose those same strategies to create viral video marketing campaigns such as this. Six reasons to go Pixel 2 over the iPhone 10 Affiliate marketing video campaign, which has generated over 1 million views by applying the exact same formula as list-based content. Easy to digest yet smart, informative content, and number title. Now that you know what are the ingredients that make content more likely to go viral, it is time for you to learn what are the best ways to deliver your viral content for marketing and business purposes.